Hello, hello. Hey, great. Hello. Hello. Right. Welcome everyone to our mentor project showcase. Uh, we, um, well, let me present, introduce myself. I'm Fernando, uh, part uh, co lead of the mentor project initiative. And I'm going to pass the mic to them, and then we are going to go with the actual presentation. Hi, I'm Smira. I am also the co-lead with Fernando of the Mentor Projects Initiative. Uh, hi, I'm Yona. I'm the executive sponsor for the Mentor Project Initiative. Right. So, oh, Please. I'm Justin. Maybe you don't know him. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> okay. So, in essence, uh, we had um, during this Orichi season and. Also, we had a Red Hat intern. We had two Orichi interns and um, also one Red Hat intern. And they did an awesome work. So, unfortunately, uh, Rosin and Tosin, Rosalyn and Tosin are not able to be here with us. But we have a video presentation. So, we are going to go first with them. And then uh, Adrian is going to go up the stage and he's going also to present uh, his work. So this, I will leave you with a video presentation. We are going to stay here. We are not going anywhere. We're up to this summer and hearing a little bit more about them and what they've been doing in Fedora. Let's get started. OK, cool. All right. Um, so hello, everyone. My name is Roslyn Bassi. I am an outreach intern currently working with um, Fedora as a community architect intern. So in this presentation today, I'm going to um, share, um, I'm going to be covering four areas. First of all, I am going to tell you about myself so you get to know a little bit about me. And I'm going to tell you about outreach internship and also tell you about my position at Fedora and highlight my internship experience at Fedora. So let's start with a quick background about myself. I have a BA in English from the University of Rio, Nigeria. I love to contribute to open source through documentation, and I, I also love to build tech communities. For example, as a, women, um, as a community builder with the Women in Public Community, I led the first 90 days of DevOps Challenge um, within the community. So my journey into the world of open source began in 2023 when I was selected as one of the mentees um, through the Linux Foundation Mentorship Program to work with um, CNCF No3 Project. So I'm going to quickly tell you um, a little bit about Altuchi Internship. So Altuchi is a three-month paid remote internship program for people who are underrepresented in tech. So for anyone to become an Altuchi intern, there are three stages um, um, involved. First of all, is the initial application um, stage, and then there's the contribution phase, and finally, the internship um, stage. Now, within the contribution phase is when a, a mentoring organization um, chooses whom um, to um, whom they are going to be working with as um, as an intern during the internship project and um, during the internship um, duration. So, my hi my highlight from the contribution phase was contributing to Fedora through writing this article called "What's New in Fedora Workstation 40." So, about my position at Fedora. So my role involved um, a lot about um, documentation related tasks, but for this presentation, I am going to be focusing on my long-term project, which is to launch Federal Ready. So for you to know what Federal Ready is, I'm going to like give you um, a brief background of what this is. Federal Ready is a program by, um, it is a program to support hardware vendors um, who support or ship Federal Linux on their systems. Now. Our goal for this program um, as a team was for us to provide, is for us to provide um, more visibility and recognition to hardware vendors who ship or support Federal Linux on their hardware. Now, the second goal is for us to um, provide a, a reliable resource for um, Federal users to rely on when um, finding, um, when finding devices um, that works well with Federal. So, to um, develop this program, the first thing that uh, we did as a team was to create a concept for the program. So the concept generation um, basically involved um, 
transforming the program's idea into a well-structured um, documentation to give us a direction of what uh, the program is. Now, the concept also includes uh, the aim of the program and the purpose of this program and the benefits to the vendors, the advantages of um, to the vendors, to vendors and to the um, federal users. So once the concept was um, documented and developed, the next thing that we did as a team was to collect feedback from three vendors that we're currently working with um, during the launch of the program. So the, the vendors that we worked with were um, Framework, Clingo, and Slimbook. So we uh, reached out to these three vendors um, and invited them to participate in a 10 minute survey where we collected feedback from them. Now this feedback helped us to understand how, um, how clearly the program's concept um, was to them and also help us to identify any uh, issues um, or any areas needing improvement. Now on to the next one, um, which, which was um, legal um, checks. So in this, um, this is a very important aspect um, of the program. So I and my team coordinated with a Red Hat legal department and trademark expert um, to conduct legal checks on the use of the name um, federal ready. Now, the essence for this is for us to avoid any potential issues that may arise um, from using the name in our communications and branding, since we intend to use this name um, publicly. So once that was settled, uh, I went ahead to develop a brand kit and guidelines for the program. Now, a brand kit includes um, the federal ready logo. We came up with the logo and a brand message and uh, messaging. This was the um, defined so that everybody gets to know what our messaging is. And a lot more about our program was defined here and plus instructions on how to use our brand elements. So um, my next slide is about my internship experience at Fedora. So um, for my personal growth, I have gained experience working remotely with a diverse community of people. And since I got to be the um, the person between, um, I serve as a point of contact person between the vendors that we worked with during um, the launch and the federal community. And I have also gained experience developing a program from the idea level to launch um, to launching launching it. So by the end of my internship, which would be concluding um, later in um, August, I am looking forward to learning about developing marketing strategies um, and campaigns for program launches. Now, I'm going to, this is a special thanks to my mentor and the federal community. I am really grateful for the support they've offered to me throughout my internship. And I'm also really excited about um, the launch of the Federal Ready Program and contribute to federal mission. So what's next for me? Uh, I am looking forward to um, securing a full-time position at Red Hat when my internship finally concludes. I am open to roles um, in community and program management, documentation, marketing, and yeah, open source and manage, uh, management. So I also look forward to obtaining a certification from the Linux Foundation um, after my internship concludes. Thank you everyone for listening. And I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. And I'll be happy to connect with you on LinkedIn or Twitter. Thank you. All right, uh, so thank you, Rosalind, for the presentation. Uh, then now we are going to go with Dosin, yes. also a video presentation. I'm gonna cue that up. And one thing just to comment on here too, you might have seen in the presentations, you're wondering, oh, these are Fedora presentations. They were outreachy interns and it's on the Red Hat slide deck. So part of where I'm playing these from is I was working with the Red Hat build team, Blacks United in Leadership and Diversity, which is one of Red Hat's DEI communities. And they actually invited, together with other Red Hat interns, they actually included our outreachy interns uh, to give these presentations to the Red Hat executive leadership team. So Matt Hicks, Chris Wright, Ashesh Badani, Jen Dudek, and some of the other executives at Red Hat. This was where these presentations were first uh, played and recorded. So just to give some context about why they're all the Red Hat branding. The build team at Red Hat was super helpful for making this opportunity happen. So next up, I'm going to play it for Tosin. Uh, is my screen visible? Yes. All right. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. I will be taking us through my Fedora project experience. And in the course of my presentation, you'll be getting to know about me, my career goals, 
my position in Fedora, and my participation in Outreachy. My name is Olua Tosin Adishola from Nigeria, and I am currently a community architect intern with the Fedora project. My passion for community, documentation, and creating impactful experiences have been ignited through my work here at Fedora. Now let's get into details about me. I am a graduate of educational management from the University of Lagos, Nigeria, and I also have a product management certification obtained in 2022. Outside of my internship program, I am a product manager with experience across the fitness, e-commerce, and CRM industries. Before I became a product manager, I was a chef, and I used to work at Eden Life Concierge Limited. And prior to becoming um, a chef, before becoming a product manager, I was a compensation and benefits analyst with KPMG Nigeria. I would say that my key strengths include cross-functional collaboration, people and team management, community building and engagement, and technical writing and documentation, amongst others. When I am not working, I enjoy cooking or eating at fancy restaurants. I enjoy adventure and vlogging, which is a current, a recent interest that I picked up. I love to sing and I love listening to music. I also love to watch a lot of movies and series I like. Now let's talk about my career goals. I hope to become a recognized leader in the product and open, open source spaces. I also would love to build and lead inclusive communities based on my federal experience and drive innovation through communication and collaboration. Outside all of these, I hope to own a restaurant sometime later in life due to my culinary background. Now let's talk about my position in Federal, which basically talks about my daily activities and they revolve around promoting community engagement and collaboration, a lot of documentation, event planning and support, as well as data analytics and reporting to drive initiatives, that's community initiatives. Now in the course of my internship, I have been able to create comprehensive user guides um, a case in point would be the Pretox platform, which was new in the federal affairs. I was able to write user guides for it. So to help people to leverage, you know, usage and all of that. I have also contributed to the success of Federal Week of Diversity 2024. I have edited and published various articles that can be found on the Federal Magazine and the community blogs. I have also created a general report template, which can be leveraged in the federal affairs as well on all things event reporting. Now, the impact from all of the work done is a significant improvement in user onboarding of the Pretox platform, as well as a, an improved process in the call for proposals, um, which just basically talks about is in relation to FLOC, the FLOC program, which is this week as well. There's also been enhanced accessibility and quality of federal documentation and generally helped to promote diversity and inclusion within the federal community. Now, let's talk about outreach. Outreachy basically provides paid remote internships in both open science and open source to people who face a form of systemic bias in technical industry where they live. Interns also have the opportunity to choose projects that align with their skills and also just projects that they feel they would make the most impact in. Now, in the course of my internship, I have grown significantly in my technical writing and documentation skills. I've also developed event management, support and collaboration skills. I've also gained experience working with a diverse global team because it's my first time working with a team like of you know different people in different locations. Some of my important takeaways from my internship so far would be understanding the importance of mentorship and community support. I've also come to value the continuous learning process and growth in the open source world, as well as the power of diversity and inclusion to drive innovation. Next steps for me basically would be to leverage my federal internship for community management, program coordination, or technical writing. I would love to secure a role at Red Hat to continue contributing to open source. I would also continue leading teams and building impactful products. And finally, utilize my project management skills, collaboration, and communication skills to drive team success. Thank you all so much for listening. I'm very happy to connect on LinkedIn and WordPress. Thank you so much to Justin and Joseph, who are my mentors um, in the federal space. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you, Tosin. And Tosin's also helped a lot with a lot of flock things behind the scenes too. So I have to give a plug for that as well. So those were our virtual presentations from our outreachy interns. You give it up one more time for Rosalind and Tosin. <laughs> up next, we're gonna have uh, our Red Hat intern who you probably have seen running around quite a bit during the last few days. But I'm gonna go ahead and bring Adrian on up here for his presentation about what he's been doing this Let's summer. Yes. Okay. 
That's cool. I'll do that. Cursor is somewhere. Hello. That is a separate desktop. Do I have any problem? Can you mirror it maybe? Oh yeah, we need to change the rest of the window. Yes, if, if you use a laptop, you can also use this. That's fine. I, I think I tested this laptop with one of the other rooms earlier, and it theoretically worked. <laughs> wow, that is. Yeah. Mm, nope. Wow. Should I bring my laptop here? I don't know how I'm going to get you the slides because they're on Google Slides. Can you share it with me on Or sure. major? Sure. Technical problems. Bad image? Oh, it's not working. You can just mirror it. That works. No, but it's, oh, is the whole thing it's supposed to be mirroring. How did your laptop work? <laughs> my, my one work. I mean, can you? Are you you're on Fedora 40 CSB? Uh, no, it's not CSB. I mean, my, my one work. The that, that's the same thing that mine did. I think my Kwin just. Yes. What's the name of the guy? HDMI, the Have you shared it with me? Uh, it's probably on Red Hat. But, but can you try first to just connect this? Because mm -hmm. I'm, I, I think it's... Just a debug. You were... You
<laughs> I was nervous for the wrong things because apparently that was, uh, that was not where I thought things were going to go wrong. <laughs> so what the heck have I been doing all summer? So uh, I'm Adrian Edwards. I'm the Fedora Community Architect intern. Uh, I'm also a student at RIT pursuing a master's in computer science. Uh, so what the heck is a community architect anyway? I know most of you guys in this room probably already know that, but real quick. Anyone with a little bit, code, little bit of coding knowledge can start an open source project. Project grows, more users and contributors get involved. And as the number of people increases, you kind of start, people start grouping up until teams, you've got kind of marketing team, different teams. Uh, and if you're the sole maintainer, you're suddenly going to be involved in everything that's happening. Um, and you're going to be in the middle of everything, and it's going to be a problem. And now the maintainer's job is more people management than code writing. Not sure what's happening with the screen, but overall there. And if you're incredibly unlucky, your project is called XZ, and one of your maintainers is trying to sabotage you. So uh, maybe you create a code of conduct to kind of fix some of these issues. You add a few moderators to help keep things maintained and managed. Uh, and as your community grows, you're going to want to communicate what's going on in your project to kind of the rest of the world. Uh, so you're going to need people for that. And sooner or later, you'll probably want to hold some kind of event or conference, and you need people to manage that too. Hi, Justin, Aoife, Natalie, Dorka, and everyone else who made Flock happen. Uh, Fedora is a really large project, and it's 20 years old. There's no single way to get things done. Uh, this is an org chart Justin sent me a while ago. Uh, there's a lot of teams. Every team decides what's best for them. So as a Fedora community architect intern, uh, it's my job, along with the other community architects and really most of the other people in Fedora, to help make sure that people in the community are taken care of. And so the, a healthy Fedora community, as you guys all know, means a better operating system for people and projects that depend on Fedora or rely on it uh, for like spins, downstream systems, and especially RHEL. And so this includes things like helping organize community events, contributing fixes downstream when I find issues, particularly with document, or contributing documentation fixes when I find issues, uh, promoting news and events about regarding what's kind of what's new in the community and gathering feedback to help improve for next time. So soon after I started at Red Hat uh, with my internship with Fedora, I was helping out with running virtual events. So some things I did including, included creating matrix bots uh, to help invite people to things like the Fedora 40 release party from the Pretix ticketing platform, um, scripts to help edit and kind of clean up some of the live stream recordings from Fedora 40 and re-upload re this to YouTube so that people who weren't at the event could also see what was new with Fedora 40. Uh, and then even more recently, I've been working on scripts to kind of grab pre schedules from events like this where there's multiple tracks and multiple rooms uh, and allow it to work with those kind of video editing scripts and things that I've been working on. Uh, most recently, I completed a sort of in-progress redesign of the website for Flock. So along with the whole Fedora project website revamp that has been talked about previously, um, some of the Flock pages were also kind of, there was some design kind of previews that were meant to kind of migrate the Flock site over, but that kind of never really made it over the finish line. And so uh, I made, me and, and Justin and people on my team made the really smart decision to redo the whole conference website right before Flock. Um, so this includes conducting a bunch of interviews with all sorts of different stakeholders from Fedora leadership to design team um, and that kind of pulling, pulling in designs from, from the previous kind of effort to design the website. Uh, we now have the fully finished, uh, at least for now, website. Obviously there's more things that could be done, but this is kind of the good enough for the conference version. Uh, and I'm currently seeking feedback on how this could be better. So. There's a QR code if people want to scan that. I'll, I'll have this available after, too, if we're short on time. Uh, so what am I going to be doing next? So in the short term, uh, I plan to be at DevConf US uh, in Boston right after Flock, uh, and also wrapping up from Flock, making sure the, the videos get processed and all that. Uh, for the rest of my internship, I'm planning to kind of transition more into working on Boot C, so working with uh, some of the Ultramarine folks, any, basically any of the teams who are working on on Boot C, I'm going to be working with uh, Jason Brooks, who's, who's technically my, my manager at Red Hat, um, and kind of learning more about that uh, and how that can kind of help the Fedora community. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, in the medium-ish term, I'm going, to plan, I'm going to be finishing school, so I'm going to graduate in May from RIT with my master's degree in computer science. Uh, medium-er term, uh, hoping to find a job, ideally working in open source, maybe. 
Um, and then long term, I just want to make delightful open source tools that just make people's lives easier, whether that's live stream editing scripts or just software that everyday people can use on, on Linux. So yeah, thank you. That's me. There's all the emails in all the places, but yeah. <laughs> Also, just a note, if you do want to do that website survey, you can find the QR code at the registration desk. We would love to get your feedback on the new Flock website. And then you want to close up with? Yeah, it was just that. Uh, thank you very much for attending to the showcase. That has been all. And sorry for all the technical issues we have experienced. Thank you.